What's up guys, how's it going? Faye here. Today we're going to be playing Always Sometimes Monsters. I've been watching Cryotics playthrough of this game and it looks good, so I wanted to play it myself. Let's go ahead and get started here. Oh, okay, you have to click it. Stop! Wait! Where the hell do you think you're running off to without me? I'm the boss, so you don't make a move until I tell you what to do. Got it? I thought I told you already. Once I'm paid, then we're through. I don't need you controlling me anymore. No, you ain't finished working yet. There's plenty of people I still need killed. You don't get a say in anything until I decide you're done spilling blood. You checked that privilege at the door when you signed up for this job. Here, I make the rules. Here, I decide what happens. That's what you signed up for, right? Hey, what did I just tell you? You ain't going anywhere unless I say so. I'm telling you, you're making a mistake. Don't do something we'll all regret. Excuse me, sirs. Got a minute or a dollar? Hard times all around. Smelly vagabond fuck. Get the hell out of my way. We don't have anything for you. Oh, I've heard that one before. Probably from you, too. Different day, different street. Who knows, maybe we used to know each other. Hey, <laughs> can you imagine that? Winding up back here again? Goddamn schizo, are you fucked in the head? Get the hell out of my way. Right, we gotta keep things moving along. Before you go through, er, before you go through, <laughs> there's something I think you ought to take a look at. What the hell is this? Well, you might say I've been expecting you. Does it feel familiar standing on this end of the barrel? Or would you feel more comfortable with your own piece drawn? Go ahead, I'll wait. That's right, aim it right between my eyes. What the hell do you want, you nut job? What do I want? I like playing games, don't you? What do you say to giving mine a spin? I don't know what this fool's smoking, but if he doesn't put that gun down right now, you put a hole in his head. Of course, you can hurry this along if you like, and we can all be done with it if you wish. Like any of this matters anyway. I want to tell you a story, though. One about the many choices we all make. At the end of it, you can decide what to do. The only rule in the game? Let me finish. No interruptions. Then the choice is yours. Or we can pull the trigger right now. Sounds a lot less time consuming, doesn't it? Either way, the choice is always yours. I want to listen to him. If you won't put that gun down, fine. Talk fast. There are many roads between yours and mine, but all roads start from the source. You ever been dragged to a party by someone? What if that party was life itself? Led by the nose, barely wanting to take part? Did you even have the choice not to go? It would take something miraculous to change you. But would you know the opportunity when it knocked? Fairweather friends are sometimes hard to sort. A man with opportunity to spare knows this best. One such man of opportunity threw a party. He was looking for someone special important. Not a lover, not a friend. He was looking for someone of substance. Whether it was the right choice or not, that's still up for debate. That night, they toasted ambition, success, and more. Little did they know how steep the mountain was. Come on, hurry up. Or did you change your mind? 
You can't invite all these people over and just leave me to take care of them, Larry. They're all weird. Why can't you have normal friends? They're all work friends. Writers, artists, wannabes. You know, like the one I was telling you about. Boss wants me to sign someone by next week, but I still haven't got a clue what I'm looking for. We'll just pick someone who's gonna do a good job. I don't want you getting fired over some fuck-up. This apartment's way too nice for that. Yeah, okay, I love you too. That one, or this one. Hmm. Eh. How's your evening going? Oh, Larry. Happy birthday, man. Thank you. Is your night alright? Yeah, great party. Just sipping on this bottle of brandy. Did you want some? I promised myself I'd only have one tonight. Brandy's a pretty solid choice, though. Maybe later. Maybe later. Gotta see who else is here. Hey, Larry. Congratulations on the new job. Thanks, it's been a long time coming. Well earned, though. What do you say to toasting? I've got this gin I wanted to polish off. Taking it easy tonight. Only one drink. Gin does sound like a good choice, though. I think that's how you pick your character. Maybe later. Gotta see who else is here. I don't want to pick her because she's cries, but I like how she looks, honestly. <laughs> what about you? Larry, congratulations! <laughs> that pose, man! <laughs> I heard about the new job. Well, there's still a lot to do. Nonsense. Let's, let's toast to your success. Can I interest you in some white wine? <laughs> I'll only be having one drink tonight. White wine does sound lovely, though. Maybe later. <laughs> that pose just- oh my god, that made me laugh. What about you? Larry, thanks for inviting me. It's been too long since we've caught up. Hopefully next time it won't be so long. Well, while I've got your attention, I've got this bottle of scotch. Wanna help? I'm trying to keep it slow tonight. One drink only. Scotch would hit the spot, though. Maybe later. Gotta see who else is here. I'm gonna go with the one with the crazy pose. Da, 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 da. Let's go ahead and toast. Alright, let's drink. Give me a second to run to the patio. There's someone I want you to meet. Always happy to meet the ball and chain. Don't go anywhere, Larry. I'll be back from the patio before you know it. chance to talk to Larry yet? Yeah, I just spoke to him. He's waiting on me. What about you? Nope. I'm allowed to be picky. It's a video game. <laughs> Well, if it isn't my favorite person in the world, how are you? Shit, Darkest, don't let Viper hear you say that. She'll be after my head. Speaking of my little she-devil, have you seen her? We were supposed to go and, uh, do something. No details, please. Yeah, I saw her inside. Right on, thanks for the heads up. Hey, what are best friends for? Who are you? Hatton, that show last night was incredible. Robot suits? Amazing. 
That thing is hot and sweaty, but worth it. How'd we look? We sound okay? Yeah, it was great. Don't worry. Thanks. How you doing? Eh, can't complain. What are you and Darkif up to? Nothing too much. You didn't tell me he was a musician. Dude, we should jam or something. Hell yeah, for sure. We could totally throw a killer show together. Screw it. I picked this dude, too. Hey, did you get a chance to talk to Larry yet? Yeah, I just spoke to him. He's waiting on us. We gotta go, though. He's waiting on us. We're going to toast that bottle we brought. That's amazing. What are you waiting for? This is the perfect opportunity to bring up that book you and Sam were working on. Do you think Sam will mind me pitching our book alone? I mean, I'd be kind of pissed if I was left out of the negotiations. You can worry about that later. If you don't get in there and butter him up now, you two will be drafting forever. I wonder if the partner picks your story too, or... I don't know. I guess you're right, but we gotta make it happen first. Come on, you got the gift? Shit, we forgot to sign the card. Here, give it to me, I'll sign it first. Okay, my turn. I'm just gonna call him dude. <laughs> Cheers, dude and Faye. Let me see that for a second. Sounds perfect. Alright, dude, let's go. Wait, kiss me first. Good luck. Before we toast. Let me guess, you've got a book you wanted to pitch. Just hear me out. No need, Faye. There's a reason I'm toasting with you. I've seen your stuff. You've got talent, a lot of potential, but you're rough. I want to put a good word in with the boss, see if we can get you in advance. That's... that's crazy. Seriously, thank you so much. I'll get you something to show him in the morning. This is too exciting. Let's toast. To ambition, to success, to getting rich. I'll toast to great partners. It really didn't matter who set things in motion. The landslide had started long before that night. This version of the story needed a hero, though. Would this be the one? Yeah. One year later. We're just sleeping in there. <laughs> Choice is an evaluation of cost and benefit. Circumstance dictates the evaluation. Consequence takes care of the rest. In this system, there can be no right or wrong. What time did I get in last night? Shit! Looks like my people's sleep monitor got reset. I gotta get to sleep when this thing tells me to. I was halfway to earning my one month circuit circadian master sleep achievement. Or sleep achievement. <laughs> Let me just cycle through the modes and reset this thing. Morning of day one.
What in the world? That monster's not even scary. What is it? Oh, it's the thing on the wall. I wanted to see the papers. Not the dang monster. Nice, I've still got some of those pizza patches left. Took three pizza patches. Cooking directions. Place a microwave for two minutes, let cool for 30 seconds. Sure beats eating and frozen. Looks like there's a few notes under my door. Attention, tenant of apartment 104. Your rent has not been received as of this notice. As a result, and according to your lease, this balance must be paid immediately or you will be evicted at the convenience of your landlord. Your current balance is $500. This entire balance must be paid immediately to avoid further action. This is a serious matter and your urgent attention is required. Failure to act in a prompt fashion will leave you responsible for additional charges such as court and attorney's fees. Your credit rating may also be affected. Please speak with building management as soon as possible to avoid further issues. Sincerely, management. 30 days overdue. Pay up, Debbie. That's nice. It's always something, isn't it? Came to see if you wanted to get coffee before work at the Phoenix, but you were asleep. Don't be late, man. I vouched for you, and my manager hates slackers. Dark it. Well, at least I've got a job for today. You grabbed your apartment key. You grabbed your bank card. The neighbor! Where is it? I know what's in here. Excuse me, Mrs. Tewilliger. Oh, pardon me, Faye. Am I in your way? I got so distracted looking through my purse for my little calendar. There never is enough time in the day, you know? I know what you mean. I know exactly what you mean. There's never enough time to do everything you want to. Heck, I don't even have enough time to pay my rent these days. I seriously think I'm done for this time. Where's your boyfriend? Things, uh, didn't work out. It's just me now. That's a real shame. You're such a good kid. Tell you what, if you need some money, why don't you come by my place later today? I'm hosting a little kid. <laughs> I'm hosting a little get together tonight, and the place needs to be spotless. It'd be lovely to have some help. Thank you. Thank you for the offer. I can use all the help I can get. Well, you know where to find me. Just come by any time today. Don't wait too long, though, or I'll get it all done by myself. Have a good day, Faye. Okay? I hope you find what you need. been a problem for months. Sounds like the landlord's on the phone. With these lights off, I might be able to slip out of here undetected. Nope. Hold it, you mangy punk. You really think I wouldn't notice you just because the lights are off? I had that clap on, clap off, clap off thing installed last week. Just where the hell do you think you're going? You're in a lot of trouble, punk. You're a whole month late on your rent, and I'm not in the business of sheltering deadbeats. Are you going to pay me what you owe, or am I going to have to toss your ass out to the curb? You're serious about evicting me, huh? Give me time. I just need some time. I've been waiting on a check from my publisher. As soon as it arrives, I can pay you. Look, the check's going to be here soon. It's got to be here soon. Just give me until the mail's been delivered, okay? I don't care how many tricks you gotta turn out to pay. You're out of time, hood rat. Pay me $500 by the end of the day or you can consider yourself officially homeless. In fact, you know what? Hand over your key right now. You can get it back for you when you pay your bills. Are you going to give me that key or what? I know you've got it in the pockets. You really want me to hand over my key? I don't want to start a fight with Fine, I think I have it on me somewhere. You handed over your apartment key. Come see me when you've got the money and I'll let you back into your room. See you later, deadbeat. He is so not nice. What a fucking asshole. 
$500 by the end of the day? I can do this. I've already got work at the Phoenix, or I can go help Mrs. Terwilliger. Time to get to work. I really don't want to get evicted. Dubstown. Hey, Faye. What's going on, girl? I'm good, Bellinger. Hanging around like usual, I see. I've got no need to walk around when I can see the whole city from right here. Sounds productive. Well, I've got a hustle. My landlord wants $500 by the end of the day, and I don't know how I'm going to get it. Dang, that sucks. Well, I'm broke, so I can't help you with cash. I did find this rare indie heroes figure in the trash this morning while I was digging for breakfast. It's probably worth a few bucks if you want to pawn it off, or you could try and get all 60 of them like me. Bellinger gave you a gob claws the elder. Thanks, Billy. At this point, anything helps. Look at that. <laughs> if you ever get lost, come see me. I know these streets like the back of my red golf shirt. Oh, okay. What's this one? Nothing. Okay. Who are you? Hello there, fine lady. Okay. Uh. There's nothing I love more than walking around this beautiful city. Okay. I should try to find that dog some food. Ouch! That, I swear, that is Lysia's favorite word in the world. 1119, still my pin. I should change that sometime. Don't need to think of his birthday every time I check my bank balance. Please enter your four digit pin. Welcome, Faye. Checking balance. Your current balance is $13. I'm gonna withdraw that. Maybe that'll be enough to get some dog- some food for the dog. Thank you for using bank- Wow. I was gonna say Bank Nation's Bank. Thank you for <laughs> using Nation's Bank. Oh, man. Bacon barn! Hey, you there. Are you talking to me? Come over here for a second, would you? Is there something I can help you with? Straight to the point, right. You look like a savvy investor. Have you heard about sandwich futures before? Can't say that I have. So sandwich futures are a way to invest in, well, sandwiches. Every day, the price changes depending on market conditions, homeless shelter population rates, and other factors. The idea is to buy low and sell high. If you're smart about it, you have the potential to make a pretty penny. That sounds interesting, I guess. Not only are sandwich futures fun to own, if you do happen to ever get mugged, the downtrodden lowlifes usually don't think to grab a stack of anything but cash. So in a way, they're also a good way to hide cash and stick it to the fast cat, fat cats at the bank. <laughs> Thanks for the advice. Right, well I need to head off to my hot yoga class. You can buy and sell sandwich features at these handy terminals found at any bacon barn. Happy sandwich investing. Oh, okay. Welcome to the Sandwich Stock Exchange. Current sandwich features... Yeah, I, I don't have that money anyway. Welcome to the Dubstown Bacon Barn. How may I bacon up your day? Try to find the dog some food. Oh, okay. Items. Oh, I had a sandwich. Man. No, I don't want to eat that. No. No. <laughs> Wait. 
wait a minute. Is there a store with dog food? Oh. Don't tell me you have dog food. Oh, wait. You here to buy some meat or what? should have been the first thing I checked. <laughs> I've had a lot of good memories here at the Phoenix. Dark Elf should be waiting for me inside. Whoa, lady. We ain't open yet. Excuse me? I said we're closed, woman. We're expecting a crew. Where's Dark Elf? Look, I'm working here today. Is Dark Elf around? You're the ditz that everyone's been waiting on then. Dark F's in the main room, so I'd get my ass over there if I were you. I'll just stand here and watch you from behind. Wow, that is a jerk. Um, oh. And the dead rise. You're late, too. Did Benny give you any trouble at the door? No, he let me right through. Some bouncer he is. How have you been? You pumped for the show? I'm nervous. Really nervous. This is my first big show since I split with Viper, and I don't know how well it's going to go without her. I know what you mean. Not a day goes by where I don't wonder how different my life would be if he hadn't left so suddenly. Jesus, we're on this shit again? Look, dude left you, what, a year ago? It's time to move on, don't you think? You're right. It's just not that easy for me. I don't know if you've noticed, but life's been kind of shitty for me ever since he left. How long are you going to blame him for everything? Seriously, you've got to take some responsibility. Remember, he left you because of what you did. You know what? Fuck you. Not all of us are happy to be rid of our ex. Not all of us dated self-destructive junkies. Not cool, man. All I'm saying is that since I left Viper, I'm realizing how it's the choices we make that define us. Am I worried about the choices I've made? Totally. Am I terrified that my music's been shit since I quit? Sure. At least I made a choice, man. You'll be fine. Everyone's really proud of you for getting off that stuff. Not everyone, man. Seems like my fans prefer when my sound's all fucked up. Part of me thinks they're right. They're wrong. That's nonsense. Everyone's just scared of change. Your manager makes a lot of money from you. I'm sure you sound fine. I appreciate it, but you haven't heard me since I kicked the stuff. I'm just nervous is all. Kinda wish I had some to calm my, calm my nerves. Oh well, my burden to bear. Here's a way out for the equipment. Try to follow it exactly, I've got enough to worry about tonight. Since you slept in, we don't have any time to redo anything, so make sure you get it right the first time. Speaker, speaker. gears in these boxes here. All you've got to do is put the right stuff on the stage in the right place according to the layout. Seriously, a monkey can do this job, so you better not mess it up. Get it done perfectly and I'll give you a hundred dollars, okay? I'll do my best, Captain. I'll head backstage and work the spotlights for you. What's in this? The guitar. I do. You are carrying the guitar. Um, I'm not sure <laughs> if it's the one on the left or the right. Oh god. Your 
hands are already full. But I can't tell what it looks like. Oh. Uh, oh, God. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna do this wrong. Yes, set it up there. This better be a damn good show. Oh, man. I think I, I, think I might have done that wrong. He picked up the base. together, right? They look exactly the same! What the freak? You picked up the drums. At least the rest of it I can tell where the heck to put it. Can we build it? Yes, we can! Hey, hey, Faye. Come give me a hug. Pfeiffer? What are you doing here? I thought you and Dark have split. You sure he's cool with you hanging around here before his show? Trust me, if I know Dark if he's missing me like crazy right now. He probably already told you so, hasn't he? Yeah, he did. Yeah, I guess he did. He's real nervous about the show. I figured as much, which is why I brought him a little present. It's a baggie of heroin. Are you crazy? Are you out of your goddamn mind? Dark has been doing so well, what the hell is wrong with you? Hey, I'm not forcing the needle on his arm. Nobody is. He's a big boy and he doesn't need you making his decisions for him. If you're bringing it to a junkie, then you kind of are forcing it into his arm because you know he's going to take it. Idiot. If he's nervous about the show and this helps calm him down, then who are we to get in his way? He'll just get it from someone else otherwise. Get the fuck out. You know what? Get the fuck out of here right now, you goddamn junkie. Dark F left you for a reason. What don't you understand about that? Go fuck yourself, Faye. You don't know the first thing about Dark F, what he needs or what he loves. You don't know a fucking thing about love. Good luck with the fucking show. If my baby bombs, it's all your fault. What a psycho. You picked up the keyboard. sweat here. Picked up the microphone. The last damn thing. Connect cable A to- wait, that's not right. Well, that's about as good as it's going to get, I guess. I need to switch the guitar and bass, huh? Well, how'd it go? Take a look for yourself. Well, what do we have here? I'm going to put this away. We'd get in a lot of trouble if someone found a bag of heroin on the floor during the concert. Oh no. Damn fine work. Yes! It's so rare that I get to walk on stage with everything just the way I like it. Seriously, kudos to you. Here's the $100 I promised you. You earned every penny of it. Dark F gave you $100. Thanks, man. Anything to help with the show? I can always count on you. Benny said Viper swung by earlier. Did you talk to her at all? Was she looking for me? Yeah, she did. Yeah, she did stop by. Really? She didn't leave anything here, did she? Yeah, you already got it. That crazy junkie nearly took my head off with a bag of smack. You sure you don't want me to hold on to that stuff for you? I can get rid of it if you like. I'll be okay. Seriously, I appreciate the concern, huh? I was going to come across it again sooner or later. Well, I guess I gotta go get ready for the show. Feel free to come back to the cl club a little later if you're interested in working coat check. We're short-staffed and can use you. Just talk to Benny at the door when you're ready to get started. Hey, Faye. You're a good friend. Now we're gonna get the dog food, and then we're gonna go to the neighbor. I guess that's a day's work. I hope I made the right call with Dark F. He's really been there for me this past year. Nope. I'm good. 
I guess there's nothing. Now let's go buy some dog food. But actually, you know what? We're gonna do that in the next episode. What a strange night. I still can't believe Viper showed up like that. Maybe I should stick around for the concert and help with the coat check. Then again, Mrs. Twilliger did ask for my help. I suppose seeing what she needed would be worthwhile, even if I am more than a little late. Oh, we picked our character, we did our names. Somehow we lost our boyfriend, and we did some work at a club. I think we did good this episode. So, next time on Always Sometimes Monsters, we're gonna go get the dog some food, and we're gonna go see how we can help our elderly neighbor. Then if there's time, go back to the club and do some coaching. See you guys then!